Welcome to the module on durability of concrete. In this module, we will talk about the permeability test, the method of test, and also the importance of uh, this test in concrete. The definition of uh, durability, as you all know, states like this. Durability of concrete is defined as its ability to resist weathering actions, chemical attack, abrasion or any process of deterioration while maintaining its desired engineering properties for the expected service life of the structure. Basically, it is the life of the structure which is being built is known as durability of that particular element of structure. The factors uh, which are uh, affecting the durability of uh, a concrete are permeability and uh, diffusion properties like if the permeability is more the durability is less and if the permeability is less the durability is more. These uh, detail will be detailed uh, discussed in detail in understanding what is the definition of permeability and what is the definition of diffusion. But then the next factor which is uh, affecting the durability criteria of uh, concrete is exposure conditions, whether the structure being built is close to the uh, sea conditions or uh, the different uh, exposure conditions which is being uh, given in IS 456 and uh, IS 10262 like moderate exposure conditions, severe exposure conditions, very severe exposure conditions depending upon the location and the environmental conditions. Then comes the water cement ratio. Lesser the water cement ratio, better is the durability. And higher the water cement ratio, poor is the durability because when the water cement ratio is high, the permeability will be high and thereafter, therefore, it, the, it, the durability of that particular mix of concrete will be less. Then uh, comes the curing efficiency in the field when the concrete is already being poured, how effectively the curing is being maintained so that uh, it will be able to control the durability of that particular element of structures. Compaction, the compaction of concrete is also plays a major important role because if you are not able to compact the concrete properly then there will be voids left over which will lead to the permeability and diffusion of uh, detrimental materials, acidic materials, thereby reducing the durability of the concrete. Then finally the use of the supplementary cementitious materials. When we say the supplementary cementitious materials, it is uh, we are talking about the mineral admixtures which can be used as a replacement for your optimum, uh, uh, replacement for your uh, OPC cement thereby increasing the durability of the structures. Now, coming to the definition of permeability and diffusivity or diffusion, there are two main factors uh, which are affecting the durability of uh, concrete that is permeability and diffusion. Permeability is defined as the property that governs the rate of flow of a fluid into a porous solid and diffusivity refers to the ease with which dissolved ions can move through the concrete. So, how do we control the permeability and diffusivity in concrete? The first method is water cement ratio. By controlling the water cement ratio, you will be able to control the permeability. By improving the efficiency or the effectiveness of the curing, you will be able to do a lot with the permeability and diffusivity. Packing of aggregates, that is the gradation of the aggregates, the, how closely the graded are, well graded or uh, gap graded aggregates will have impact on the permeability and diffusivity of uh, the concrete. And then the use of uh, supplementary cementitious materials because the particles of the mineral admixtures are less as compared to the particle size of the cement, thereby making it further close packing. Uh, of the mix and the voids will be less. So when we say a water cement ratio, it is a lower the water cement ratio will reduce the permeability in concrete. 
Improved curing uh, will reduce the permeability in concrete. Increased packing or dense packing of aggregates will improve the permeability of concrete. And use of supplemental cementitious materials uh, will reduce the permeability and diffusivity of the concrete or improve the properties of durability of concrete. So these are the four uh, pillars through which we can control the permeability and diffusivity of the concrete, thereby improving the durability of the concrete mixes. When we say the permeability of cement paste, uh, the porosity decreases from 40% to 30%, the permeability drops from 110 to 20 times uh, 10 to the power minus 12 centimeters per second and from a decrease of porosity from 30 to 20 percent results uh, in a small drop in permeability. So the permeability of uh, cement paste if you see in terms of age and uh, the permeability properties, fresh uh, paste, fresh cement paste will have a permeability of uh, 20 whereas uh, after five days, it becomes 4,000. On the sixth day, it becomes 1,000. It's of course, it's been multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11 centimeters per second. And on the 13th day, the permeability is 50 into 10 to the power minus 11. And on the 24th day, it becomes 10 into 10 to the power minus 12 centimeters per second. So this is how the permeability of the cement paste drops with the age and that same principle is applicable when it comes to concrete. So preparation of test samples uh, for the permeability test if you see you have uh, molds which can be of uh, cylindrical shape as well as uh, can have uh, cubicles. Now in the photograph uh, it is being shown a cylindrical uh, mold on which you can put a cylinder and then concrete cylinder being cured after up to 28 days and thereafter the sample is being prepared and made ready for the permeability test as shown in the figure by making uh, the molds uh, robust, leak proof and packed tightly using the foams and uh, the epoxies. So this is basically the apparatus uh, which is a three cell model uh, and uh, in the below you can see the samples are being kept and then you have the compressor which is being used to generate pressure in order to make sure that the permeability test molds are being tested at a certain pressure and then move washed for a particular duration of time. The details we will be discussing in the upcoming slides. But this is the photograph of or the sketch of the permeability mold which is being exposed to testing. The center portion is basically the specimen. The center portion is basically the specimen you can see uh, and uh, this C is the height of uh, the mold, A is the width of the mold and B is the bottom most part which is exposed from both the sides uh, for the particular water pressure. Now, when we say the procedure of uh, conducting a permeability test, then you need to prepare a cylindrical test specimen of 150 mm dia and 160 mm height to be ready for uh, the testing. The test will be conducted between 28 days and uh, before 35th day of the cube being uh, cube or the cylinder being casted for a particular grade of uh, concrete which needs to be tested for the permeability test. After 28 days of curing, the test specimen is fitted in a testing apparatus as shown in the previous slides such that the specimen can be placed in water under pressure up to a pressure of say 7 bars. A pressure of 5 bars is applied for 72 hours. The pressure shall be maintained constant throughout this test period. After this period, the specimen is taken out and split into two pieces by using the cube testing machine. The two round bars are placed on opposite faces of the specimen and compressed in the cube testing machine for splitting the specimen into two halves. 
when the split faces show signs of uh, drying after 5 to 10 minutes the maximum depth of uh, penetration in the direction of uh, height shall be measured with the scale and extent of water penetration can be checked and established the mean of the maximum depth of penetration obtained from three specimens thus tested shall be taken as the test results and it shall be a maximum of 25 millimeters or the cover for which that particular concrete is being poured or the element is being poured so this is how the testing uh, process uh, or the splitting of uh, the mold or the cylinder cubicle mold or the cylinder is being uh, done in the laboratory after completion of the permeability test for 72 hours at a pressure of uh, 5 bars now the test is being conducted uh, in the CTM machine as uh, discussed in the procedure in the previous uh, slides and on the application of the load what happens is the sample or the test specimen is being split into two parts as shown in the photograph the bottom right photograph if you see and when it comes to cylinder it is uh, the top right uh, photograph showing a cylindrical specimen being split into two parts now after splitting uh, this uh, specimen the penetration is measured from the height that means from the surface the face of uh, the top and the bottom in case of cylinder and in case of cubes it needs to be marked before taking out the sample so that you can check from the top what is the soaking or the penetration is being observed because it will be in the form of a layer showing that this much of layer is being moist from the top now coming to the need of the permeability test or the requirement why do we need a permeability test to be conducted because permeability test uh, gives you the significance of the concrete when the concrete is exposed to the water conditions how much water can be penetrated through the concrete it will help you to improve the durability of uh, the concrete uh, because based on the permeability test results uh, you can redesign your mixes or you can increase uh, your cover portion to the possible requirements it will help you to freeze or determine the cover required for the reinforcement the movement of uh, chemicals in the concrete because when water can move to the extent that extent then possibly the concrete uh, the chemicals also will have the ability to move in the concrete and then it will also help you to densify the concrete the moment you improve your permeability characteristics of a particular grade of concrete so to summarize this module uh, we talked about the definition of durability we talked about the factors which are affecting the durability of concrete the different factors uh, like permeability and diffusion uh, in the concrete and in this particular module we talked in detail how the permeability and diffusion is affecting the durability of the concrete then we talked about the definition of the permeability permeability test methods of permeabilities and also the need of the permeability test why do we need a permeability test to be conducted in short it gives you the idea of the clear cover which is required and the durability uh, of the particular grade of concrete so with that uh, we come to a close of uh, this particular module uh, do get in touch with us by visiting the youtube channel is highway guru and then uh, my website the quality guru.in for further details thank you thank you very much